Hi, Phil Brown here with a quick tip on how to build an expression to auto find holes based on tap size. So you can see I already have my setup created. I'm going to go into a drilling operation. I'm going to go ahead and pick my tap. In this case, I'm going to use a quarter 20 for building this expression. Um, I have two holes on my model that are pre-drilled at 201. So again, I'm going to go to geometry. I'm going to go diameter range. And then let's go ahead and start to create an expression. And this expression is going to be based off tool diameter. And then we're going to go ahead and subtract our 0.013 times 75. The 75 is the percentage of thread I want to use. So you may want to modify this as you go. We're going to divide that by 1 divided by tool pitch. And then we could go ahead and close this all out. And then what I like to do is actually subtract 3 thou inch, so this gives me an upper and lower tolerance. I'm also going to go ahead and push Control A to copy this so that I could take this to the other window and apply it. So as soon as I hit OK, you can see it now calculated that 201. So it took that 250 tap down to 201, and then it actually took me down to 198. So we can go ahead and edit this expression. This is where I'm going to go ahead and paste in that expression. And then personally, what I like to do is go plus versus minus and hit OK. So now you can see it narrowed it down to those two holes that I told you before, before were 201. So we're going to go 198 to 204. And I could go ahead and hit OK with this. And then I can turn this into whatever I want to call it as my template. And in this case, I like to just say tap auto hole find. So again, it's now I can go back to my templates, go tap auto hole find. And with that, I just edit this and I change my tool. So now if I look back at my print, I see I have some 516 18s. I go ahead and bring in my 516 and hit OK, and it automatically picked up those holes.